I often get the question when the VIX gets down to 13, do you think the VIX is too low? There are several variables that need to be considered when digging into this concept. Here are two today. Number one, the rule of 16. General, as a general rule of thumb, the VIX at 16 implies that on any given day over the next 30 days, the market anticipates a 1% move on any given day over the next 30 days. Currently, we're just not realizing that on a day-to-day -day basis. We've had a couple of one-offs, but by and large, the market continues to realize 1% or less per day. So therefore, we're going to continue to see compression in the VIX unless we see several days of outsized price movement. Number two, the range, price range. In the summer 2023, the market hovered between 2350 in the SPX and 2600. For several months, we traded in that range. Again, we've had several days that we're outside of that 1% move, but by and large, we maintain this range over the last three months. And doing so, that puts pressure on the VIX as we're not seeing options demand continue to pick up unless we break out of that range. So the range bound trade, even though we have experienced some outsized moves, continues to put pressure on the pricing and the implied volatility keeping the VIX low.